everyone. In today's video we're going to be showing you how to install a front window regulator on a 2004 Audi A4. And here are some of the tools that we will be using in this video. Just a little warning for everybody, when you go to remove the door panel you will probably be breaking a lot of the clips. Now if you wanted to know what a bad window regulator sounds, here is a good example. All right, we're going to begin by taking out the door trim. Go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver or anything that you can use to pry it off. Once that's off, go ahead and remove the screws that are underneath. And there is one additional screw on the bottom of the door panel. and one final screw that's inside the door handle. Now if you're going to be doing this on the driver's side, there is a cap that you have to remove with a screw underneath. Once those are all removed, your door panel is ready to be taken out. Start at the bottom and use a lot of force and pry it out. When you go ahead and do this, you will break some clips, just to give you a heads up. Once all the clips are loose, all you gotta do is just lift the door panel up and out. With the door panel free, there are a few more things that are still holding on to it. One of them is the lock cable. All you have to do is just take it out. And finally, there are two electrical cables, one connected to the window motor and the other connected to the speaker. Alright, you can now take out the door panel and start by removing the sound deadening material. And before you can remove all the sound deadening material, you'll have to remove the window motor. And that is held on by three bolts. Once you got the bolts removed, the motor just slides out and you can remove the additional electrical wires. With the motor out of the way, you can now finish up removing the sound deadening material. We're going to continue by removing the door speaker that's held on by three bolts as well. Once you got the door speaker out of the way, you will want to feed the wire going to the power meter through the door. Now it is clipped on to the door, so go ahead and undo those clips. They're a little tricky to do and you might end up breaking them. Alright, we're going to continue by removing the weather stripping. No need to remove everything, just uh, the top half needs to be removed.
once the weather stripping is removed there's also a rubber cap right here on the side just lift that up all right so we're going to be removing the main bolts that are holding everything together we're going to begin by removing the cap and removing the bolt on the side of the door and after that we're going to follow up by removing the rest of the bolts With the main bolts out of the way, there's one more hidden. Uh, remove the cap that's right by the mirror and you'll find another bolt underneath. Uh, one last thing is to undo these clips. Go ahead and grab your needle nose pliers and undo the clips. Okay, you are now ready to remove the top half of the door. All you have to do is just very carefully lift it up and everything will come out. We're gonna continue by removing the glass. It's held on by two screws on the bottom. With the glass out of the way, there's two final bolts that need to be removed. Now before you remove them completely, go ahead and mark where the window regulator assembly is so that you can put the new one back in at the same place. We got our new assembly. We're going to line it up and start screwing it in. Our new window is ready to go in. Two more bolts to secure it. Reinstall all of the bolts and the sound deadening material, the speaker, and the window motor. Don't forget the rubber plugs. Clips. Okay, we are now ready to test the window regulator. Make sure the window goes up and down without a problem. And looks like it is nice and smooth, no problems at all. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoy it. For more car repair tutorials and more videos, check out our website www.happywrenching.com.